I really enjoyed dealing with the Wildlife Gallery from the time I met Dan Catlin. I called Dan Catlin on a Thursday and he, he flew down from Michigan to Houston, Texas on the following Monday, which was Thanksgiving week. He spent the day with me on Monday. Uh, we made some preliminary sketches. Uh, he was very sincere. And when the, when the uh, artist got here, the crew got here, Frank and the crew, they far exceeded my expectations. They were very willing to work with me. They had their ideas, but if I w wasn't uh, sold on their ideas, they would ultimately do what I asked them to do. I came across the Wildlife Gallery because I'm a very detailed, anal type personality, and I'm going to research everything before I step out, and especially the investment I put in this trophy room. It's been a dream for years to do a trophy room. So I went around to all the trophy rooms that I could find in Texas. I didn't venture out of Texas, but I've seen some very name uh, hunter trophy rooms. And I just started doing research on the internet. And of course, the Wildlife Gallery advertises on television shows, and they've got some nice advertisements on shows like Treks Across Africa showing their mountains in the background. So I saw just a small part of what they do at the Dallas Safari Club a year ago and I invited Dan Catlin down here and that's how I sold on the Wildlife Gallery. I was uh, very happy with the level of professionalism they brought to the project. They were very concerned about what I wanted. Uh, from the moment I met Frank Neumeyer, he told me his goal was when, we, when he was finished that I was very, very happy with the project. He said he wasn't leaving until I was absolutely happy. My wife really appreciated that, uh, that, that the crew, all five of them, Frank and Randy and Rodney and Travis and Nate, were all very concerned with being clean and orderly. They were very professional, very uh, polite. Uh, the level of realism, this thing looks as real as it can be. It looks like the, uh, the uh, icicle should be melting and dropping down. The snow looks real. The, uh, the paintings in the background look real, uh, the, the rock looks real, everything looks real. That's what impresses people most is all the vegetation, all the uh, artifacts that they added, the uh, plants, everything looks real. The comment I think that most impresses people is that it looks so lifelike and real. Uh, it's not often that you make a large investment in art or a pleasure type thing because the trophy room is really not a necessity but it's something that I really wanted and it's not often you make a sizable six figure investment and look back and think should I have done it or not and with the product I have now the best recommendation I can give is I'm very satisfied and I'm happy with the amount of money I spent for it and if I had it to do over I would do it over again. I, I hate to pre-sell something for Dan but yeah I, I would definitely use the Wildlife Gallery again.